How to start live streaming games. Things you will need. A decent computer, PS4 or Xbox One. An account on Twitch, Hitbox, Livestream or Ustream. A broadband internet connection with a good upload speed. A microphone. And most importantly, games. Things that might become useful. A gamepad, if you are on PC. A comfortable, ergonomic chair. A camera or a webcam. A green screen. A microphone stand and a pop filter. A second monitor or a third one. Or a fourth or fifth. Oh, six. Uh, so now that we've got everything, let's talk about software. There are a lot of different live streaming software, but there are two popular ones, XSplit and OBS. I've used them both, and I can say OBS is a little better, but XSplit might be easier to use for a complete starter. Oh, and of course, they're both free. However, the free version of XSplit does have some options that are limited. But overall, it's a decent program for newbies and experts alike. I still find the OBS better though. I'll put a couple of links down below in the description that'll help you out setting each program up. So, now that you have the equipment and the software, let's talk about tips and tricks for streaming. Number 1. Be nice and polite. People always appreciate polite streamers. This will create a non-toxic, cheerful community around your channel. Number 2. Chat rules. Having some basic rules can help keeping the atmosphere nice and positive. Some of the most common rules on Twitch are, for example, No backseat gaming, let the streamer play by himself. No spoilers. No capsing! No bigotry, fanboyism, politics or religion related debates. Links only on permission, you know, so no one will post news, etc. Number 3. Be yourself, know yourself. Maybe you like indie titles. Maybe triple A's. Why not both? Maybe you like strategy games. Or perhaps RPG titles. Or maybe you just wanna have fun. To wrap this up, I'll answer a few common questions. Do I need a nuclear powered PC to stream? The answer? Not necessarily. I've seen people streaming with PC parts that are quite mediocre. It all depends on what do you want to stream, the target quality and your PC. Do I need a webcam, lighting and or a green screen? The answer? No, you don't need it. If you feel like not showing your face, or you think it's somehow unnecessary, you don't have to. There are plenty of streamers who don't use a face cam. It's completely normal. Do I have to stream 6 hours every day? Nope, certainly not. The majority of streamers are normal people who do streaming for fun. If you want to do streaming actively, all you have to do is to create a schedule. As long as people know when you're going live, you're good. Mithrid, I've seen you do 24-hour marathons, I wanna do it too! Yes, streamers sometimes do 24-hour marathons. Sometimes. There are reasons why it's not that usual. It's very tough to do. Staying up for 24 hours gets you tired, tipsy, exhausted, and might get you back pain. You know, it's not that healthy. For this reason I recommend thinking ahead if you're going to do it. Prepare well, get your schedule done, plan on when you're going to eat, and do stretching and walking around. Also plan on what you're going to play, and how long. You may even want to bring a friend with you. Once done right, marathons can be very fun to do and may even get you a lot of new followers. But seriously, don't do it too often, you'll kill yourself. Do I have to use social media X? No, but it helps. Can you recommend a good starter mic? There you go. It's what I use, and it's very nice. If you have any more questions, hit me up on Twitter, or PM me on Twitch, YouTube, or just ask in the comments. I'll gladly help you out. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!